Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Um, in today's video, I thought I would do like a sit down, chit chat, get ready with me. Just because, you know I did that last video of help me choose my birthday dress. There's a fine line between H-O-E and W-H-O-R-E. I'm not about the latter. This is a lot right now. I don't feel free. That is as high as I can lift my arms. And then there's the risk of everyone seeing my future children before I do. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel like my body is made for these cutouts. Like, these aren't cutouts. This is like a breakout, break free flesh. But I don't know, what do you think? Yay, nay. Half the time when I buy dresses, really what I wanna buy is the model. I'm like, you, you are what I want to be <laughs> for this event. <laughs> and then it arrives, I'm like, I didn't want the dress, I wanted the model. I want more cake. It's actually making my bum look flatter as well. I don't need, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. I loved your responses. I'm like so grateful. You guys literally helped me choose my birthday dress and I loved it. I absolutely loved the dress we chose. And I just kind of felt like there was no, what's the word? No conclusion, no closure. There was no closure on the channel. I was like, hey, help me. And then I just did it and disappeared. Even though I did post a picture to my Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, come join uh, number one. Number two, you might not have seen it. So I thought I would just kind of recreate the makeup look that I did on my birthday and just kind of have like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, grab a cuppa if you want. Oh, actually I probably do want a coffee, don't I? I might put the kettle on. <laughs> I've got like a kettle in my room, so I'm just gonna pop the kettle on um, and we can just kind of get ready for the day. I'm gonna do my makeup, um, just like I did on my birthday night. So recreating that look and yeah, we'll just catch up. Just have a casual catch up. Sound good? Okay, I'm gonna get the kettle on. BRB. Mm. It tastes so good, guys. So good. Oh, <laughs> not that good. Anyway, I'm very aware that my eyelashes are majorly doing something right now. I don't even know what they are doing, but it's something that they shouldn't be. So I'm due to have them redone next week. And to be fair to the lady, she did tell me rebook for three weeks time. But I was like, nah, I can totally stretch out for four. They're pointing in all kinds of directions at the moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to add on a few like bunch lashes just to like tide me over. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be using quite a few new products in today's makeup look. And then um, after I did my get ready with me video so my 10 minute makeup routine i realized that a lot of the products i was using were super cheap which is which is, there's nothing wrong with but i was like should i step up my makeup game i haven't changed the makeup that i've used for like i don't know since i was like 16 so i thought maybe i should step it up so i watched a few youtube videos and i kind of got exhausted and was like whatever i'll just go to the shop and see what happens so i went to boots and i went and got some estee lauder thingy under eye concealer which I know is good because my sister uses and anytime I'm with her I always borrow it because it's so so good and then I went to Smashbox and I was like I'll get a load of stuff from here because I feel like I've heard the name and I feel like it's good got a load of NYX lipsticks which aren't really expensive to be fair Smashbox isn't that expensive either I think I'm just really used to always buying cheaper makeup but then when I got to check out with all my new stuff my new face my new face in my bag got to check out the lady was like that will be uh 200 pounds please and I was like <laughs> Will I be Naomi Campbell? Will I? Will I, when I put this stuff on my face, will I be Beyonce? I mean, seriously though, 200 pounds. If at the end of this video, I don't look a solid 2.3 better, nah, that, that's not worth it. I don't know, I just, I'm always used to saving money on makeup and stuff and just 200 pounds. To be fair, it wasn't 200 pounds, so I also got a new electric toothbrush, it was like 150. But still, if you're the kind of person who doesn't wear makeup and doesn't enjoy it, don't don't there's no need getting into it you're beautiful as you are i just really love it and i really enjoy it and so <sighs> the end justifies the means okay i feel like that's pretty much as good as my lashes are gonna get without professional input it's a little bit different than what i literally did on my birthday so it's all about that but i just want to try out these products anyway so i'm gonna use smashbox photo finish primer stick if anything is i'm not even going anywhere and um, i might pop into the shop to return a top i bought later and that's about it. But yeah, this is it. Unboxing. The lady said that this was the one which stops you getting shiny during the day, so we will see. 
It's like a glue stick. Lightweight, non-drying, blah, blah, blah. Apply to forehead, cheeks, nose, blend with fingertips. Cool. I do need to buy some more brushes as well, actually. Um, but at this point, I don't know if I can spend anything more on my face and actually justify it. Because I, do I don't think I'm going to look any different. These are still drugstore products. I haven't even stepped it up to, like, the designer brands. Oh, wow, this is good, though. <laughs> my skin does look really matte. Take my money, Smashbox. Nah, for real, though, take it. Do I look any different on camera? Feels really nice. Come all the way through, Smashbox. The reason I bought this is because I saw... Shayla, you know the YouTuber Shayla? <laughs> she was on the advert. I guess advertising really does work because I like her, so I was like, okay, I'll buy it. And that's all I needed. Um, so then I got the um, Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation Stick, color 4.3, which is quite dark. Like when I put it on my hand, it seems quite dark, but I always end up making my makeup too light anyway when I go in with my concealer. So I'm hoping that it'll be fine. Like, look at, oh gosh, it does look too dark. Oh my God, what have I done? Oh my God, that's way too dark. She actually did try it on me though. Wait, am I using the wrong end? <coughs> oh my God, that's the contour end. <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe that off because that was very silly of me. Okay, so <laughs> foundation. Please be that. I mean, even still, that's still quite dark. But please tell me that is still quite dark. Oh my god. I think this is too dark. It's very like liquidy though. It kind of melts onto your face. Is it too dark? I can't tell. Maybe it's just because I'm used to using. I think it is. I think I should have gone for the shade high lighter. Well, that sucks. Maybe it is my right shade. Or maybe she's giving me the wrong one because this is four point three, and I do kind of remember it being like a four point two. This is literally just changed. <laughs> you know when you try and do like get ready with me and you try and be a makeup artist okay whatever we're just gonna power through <laughs> i'm gonna bring it back with my estee lauder <laughs> to be fair maybe this isn't too bad maybe i actually have been using foundation that's too light and so i'm not used to it when it's actually my color what do you think do you think this is my color i feel like it's too dark and too red based but I'm just gonna go with it for now. And I'm gonna contour. I don't usually contour my nose that much, but we'll see. Bring that up a bit. This could actually end up working, you know, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna blend that out. Anyway, I wanted this to be like a chit chat, not an actual like makeup disaster. I really like the fact that you guys helped me choose my dress. I had such a good time on my birthday. Oh, I should blend this out because I'm looking pretty crow. Two of my best friends from uni, one who's still in Birmingham, one who now lives in London, came up. Two of my best friends from home, my sister from London, came down. Unfortunately, my other sister couldn't come because obviously she's got that mum life, baby life, so baby comes first. Um, but I literally just felt so lucky. You know, like, especially as you get older, like, weekends are precious, time is precious. So the fact that they would all do that for me. Got an Airbnb, which was really nice, in town, in the bay. Um, and then we, like, got all dressed up and went out. And it was just the best weekend. No, I didn't have some, like, massive party with, like, oh, look at all my 50 friends. Like, no, I don't have that. Um, I do have quality friendships with people who are there for me. And I really appreciate that. And that hasn't been, I, I say that like I'm bragging actually, but that's not what I mean to do. What I mean to encourage you is that um, I've definitely been through times. Does that look better, by the way? Does my makeup look better? Is that me now? If you're going through something right now, I don't know, where you feel like you need to be cool or popular. You know, in school, you always feel like you need lots of friends. Um, but it really isn't about the number. And don't just go chasing like the cool kids or having lots of friends and things like that because that's really just not what life is about. It's not about that, it's about quality friendship. So appreciate the people in your life who love you and love them back. Okay, so I feel like my base is done. Do you ever finish contouring and feel like you've blended all the contour away? 
At least I still look the same color though. Oh, this is stress and it moves it. Next, I'm gonna use another product that I didn't actually use on my birthday. <laughs> I actually used my sleek contour kit but you know when you all get ready in the same room as your friends and then someone someone out there has my sleek contour kit if you're watching this girls it's okay you can keep it I'll I'll move on but my sister Yama my older sister the one with the baby she got me this Carly Vibal palette which I actually love I love so much I love this right here so good um so I'm going to use that as like a bronzer, you know, just to bring that back, bring some color back into my face. I usually like to put just a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. I need a new highlight. I don't know what I want in my life, but I do need a new highlight. Um, I'm not massively, I'm using this one now. I'm not massively loving it. Oh my God, I put on way too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring it back. It's okay, we can bring it back. Oh my god, it's it's not brought it back. It hasn't at all, but I'm just gonna power through. I will work on my makeup skills so that one day when I do this, it's actually like, what? I actually can't find <laughs> the lipstick that I wore on the night, um, which is super annoying. Pretty much the main thing. So far, I've used um, about 3% of the products that I actually used on that evening. Um, so am I recreating my birthday look or am I just doing a random makeup look? Who knows? Instead, I'm gonna use a new lipstick that I bought the other day, NYX Club Hopper. Mm. And I do sincerely apologize that I apparently am too incompetent to just create. Like you would think someone had surprised me with this, but I actually planned this. I planned it and I still couldn't do it. Using my nude, this is the palette that I used on the night. So I'm just taking this one. I'm putting on my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow on my eyelid. I don't really like my eye makeup right now. It looks quite like drying. Man, can I just not mess up my makeup for like once? How has that gone so light? Why has that gone so light? That was a dark brown. Oh, guess I gotta do it to the other eye too now. Okay, I guess I'm going for the ashy, ashy trashy look today. Lovely, that is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, which I probably should have done first because I feel like they're looking a little bit cray. I feel like that will do. I don't know, I feel like that's, I feel like that's done, although it doesn't feel done. Oh, what I did do was I got this cheapy little liquid lipstick that's actually from a Premark set and I just put it on the very inside. I just dabbed. I'm just gonna add some shadow because I actually forgot to do that. Raise them up. You raise me up so I can have some cheekbones you raise me up to glow on higher levels oh i am strong and i am on your cheekbones you raise me up to more than a five Point three. You raise me up so I can trick on lookers. You raise me up to be hotter than I used to be. Oh, I am strong when you are on my cheekbones. You raise me up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I find me funny. Put on the dress for you and just kind of complete the look and the shoes that I wore with it. I would put on the clutch bag for you as well, but actually it fell apart and I was really annoyed about that. Both clutches that I showed in that video fell apart on the night out. I used one, my sister used the other one, both fell apart and I returned them both. So I was like, that's ridiculous. Like I kept dropping my clutch and everything would fall out of it because it literally just wouldn't fall together. Um, so I don't have those, so I can't show you those unfortunately. Um, but this is the makeup look. What do you think? Do you like it? I'll give you some angles. Beauty Guru on fleek. I quite like this. Do you? I don't know. Whatever. What's done is done. Okay, I'm going to put the dress on for you now.
is the final look except it wasn't because I had on different um, makeup <laughs> but this is the dress that you guys chose that I wore out and these are the shoes I put the wrap shoes with it on the actual night my best friend did my hair and she did it so cute it was basically straightened with just like a gentle curl at the end but my hair's already been curled with curlers and I couldn't recreate what she did anyway so I'm not even gonna try that is it for the video I just want to say thank you guys so so much for like styling me for my birthday and for literally being my internet friends I'm really grateful um, I had a great night and I had a great birthday and I felt really like I don't know it felt special that you guys had helped me choose um, I felt really nice I love this dress and I'll definitely recommend it because it really does just keep you sucked in all night I would definitely recommend this dress the shoes they're not too bad they weren't too uncomfortable um, but yeah I really liked this look so thanks so much for watching um, I hope you've enjoyed just having a cuppa with me and a little chit chat and I will see you guys in the next video bye